Hi, and thanks for joining us today. My name's Andrew Gallagher. I'm the National Portals Manager here at CompNow. Today, we're going to be learning a little bit about one-to-one -one BYOD programs. A little bit about CompNow just quickly. We are a 100% privately owned Australian company. We've been in business for 30 years and we're currently working with over 2,500 individual schools. We have 270 staff across five states in Australia. The CompNow way, this is something that all CompNow employees are encouraged to live and work by. I thought I'd bring up this slide today just to talk a little bit about creating connections. Creating connections when you're running a BYOD program is incredibly important. It's important for us as your technology partner to create those connections with you so that you in turn can then create those connections with your parent community. It's really important when you're running a BYOD program that you get buy-in from the parent community as early as you can. Let them know the decisions that you're making as a school and why you're making them makes the BYOD process much simpler. As I mentioned, we have offices in five states in Australia. We have warehousing capabilities in all those locations. So what that means is we are able to flag ahead of time with our vendors the requirements that we've got for the upcoming deployment season, and we've got the capability to hold that stock so that it's ready for you when you need it and when your parents order it. So one-to-one -one programs, there's, there's a lot to consider with one-to-one -one programs. Um, as I mentioned, professional development. It's lovely to have all new technology in the students' hands, but if the teachers can't help them get the most out of it, it's money, money, money not well spent. Um, volume licensing, if you're having a one-to-one -one program, how are you gonna ensure that all the students are licensed to use the applications that previously would have been deployed by the school onto school owned devices? Mobile file and device management. How are you going to make sure that the students are using the devices in the ways that you expect them to, in the ways that their families also expect them to do? BYOD or CYOD or many other acronyms that you can think of. How are you going to run your program? Are you going to have a program where you say to your families, students need a device, go out and get what you want? Or are you going to allow them to choose from a set parameter of devices that you have approved? We find that that is absolutely the best way to do it. You get the benefits of having that program funded by the parents, having parents have some choice in the device that their child is going to use, and also the benefit of knowing that every student will have device whose specifications are going to mean that they can run some of the modern applications that you're going to want them to run in the classroom. With CompNow managed BYOD program, we can make sure all of these features that may have traditionally been part of a school deployment can also translate to a BYOD program. And having that program as a mandated program through one provider really allows us to help you with all those challenges. So deployments and rollouts, this is obviously a, a, a big part of any technology one-to-one -one program within a school. With a BYOD program, that doesn't, that doesn't change. You will have certain things that you want every student to have access to on day one. You will want settings set up for them so that that device behaves in an expected way while it's in the school environment. We have teams that can help run those devices up prior to getting them out. We can deliver devices to the school for a one big deployment day where all the students come in and you go through a, a list of expectations and how to get onto the network and all, all of that sort of thing. Or we can have a really modern deployment with zero touch, all settings are applied to that device before it gets into the student's hands we can then deliver that device straight to the family's home. The kid unpacks it out of the box, turns it on, logs in with the AD credentials and they're good to go. We can help with everything that you would do in a traditional school technology deployment. We can help you achieve those, those same outcomes in a BYOD program. So mobility management, a big part of any technology program in a school. We can set it up so that the big players like VMware, Jamf, 
and some of the tools that Microsoft make available are still available to you on those devices even though they are owned by the family rather than the school. Jamp, for example, is by far the best tool to use to manage Apple devices, um, whether they're iOS devices or Mac OS devices, Jamf will manage them for you and ensure that you know what's going on with those devices, even though they're owned by the families. Just recently, CompNow was awarded the Modern Solutions Partner of the Year for 2020 by Microsoft. It's a global award. It was given to CompNow in recognition of our work with some of the new tools that Microsoft make available for that modern deployment and modern management story. CompNow has technical experts who can help you develop new workflows to, to gain access to these powerful tools and can help you manage that process ongoing. So that's, that's talking about the start of the program with the deployment, but how are you going to make sure that those devices continue to run for the two or three years that you're going to expect students to use them? The CompNow Care Plan is one way you can do that. It is an extended on-site warranty if a student has an issue with a device, we come out to the school and we repair it. That can be two, three or four years depending on the length of your program and is available across Apple iPads, laptops and desktops. In line with an extended warranty, we also have the CompNow Protect Plan. This is laptop and tablet insurance. As we all know, students' devices can go through a pretty hard life. Um, Many students in that three year period will have some kind of an accident or it'll be taken out of a school bag or something will happen to it. Offering every family CompNow Protect means that you as a school can feel confident that every family is aware of the risks of their student carrying that device to and from school every day. They can be confident that you as a school are aware of that risk and they're happy that you're able to offer them protection in the case of any of those incidences. When we offer CompNow Protect on our parent funded portals, we find take up is very strong, up to about 50% most of the time. And we find that is a really good way to prevent the problems that can happen a couple of years into a program. Say for example, a student drops a device, cracks the screen. The parent can't then come to the school and say, well, we didn't know about insurance. We didn't know this was potentially going to happen. What are you, the school, gonna do about it? Offering that insurance policy to every single family who buys a device means that everyone knows up front what the risks are and they have a policy to choose to protect themselves against those risks. And now we're going to have a little bit of a look at our customised procurement portals. We have a few different flavours of customised portals that we can spin up for our customers. The one we're going to look at today is the parent funded portal. So now we're going to have a look at our customised procurement portals, starting off with our parent funded portal dashboard. So this dashboard is something that we give any school who has a portal with CompNow access to, and it allows the school to investigate what's happening in that portal, why the portal's open. So because we're invoicing directly to families and those invoices are going out individually per family, we found it was difficult for schools to understand what was going on and, and how many people had signed up to the program. So this dashboard allows us to give schools all those little pieces of information to all the different families in one clear, easy to read portal. So currently this is showing all sales from this portal historically. So we can see there's 855 invoices with 1,578 individual devices. I'm just going to put some date filters on so we can filter that down to a smaller date range. I'm going to have a look at everything that was purchased in December 2019 up until January of 2020. So we hit filter, that will then filter those results. So we can see that the number of invoices goes down from 855, which is the complete historical um, number of invoices through this portal. It's down to 180. So this is the 180 invoices that were generated in this parent funded portal in that window of time between December and, and January. 
So looking at the three reports that we can generate here, the first one is open orders. Now this is currently on zero and that's because there's no open orders in this portal at the moment. But if this portal was currently operating and taking orders, you'd see that number changing every day. As, as parents are putting orders in, that number's going up. Basically, what we can see there is, is orders that we have taken from parents. Parents have let us know what they want. We've booked it in, confirmed the order for them, but that order has yet to be delivered. So depending on what workflow the, the school has chosen, you know, we could be taking orders and delivering them straight out. In that case, you might see orders sitting in that open orders page for a few days. Um, or we could be doing a full deployment process for the school. We could be delivering all those devices to the school on one set deployment day, in which case we'll see open orders sitting there for the length of, of, of that order cycle. If we move on over to invoices, I'm actually going to go in here because we've got some results to see. So this is every invoice generated through the parent funded portal in that two month window of time that we selected. So the columns across the top, we can see the invoice number, the date that that was invoiced out, the reference number, and this reference number is the parent's order number that they get from our confirmation email. The main product, so this is the, the top product on that invoice. So you may have a laptop and a couple of accessories. In this page, we'll just see that, that laptop. We've got the student name, the student ID, we've got the campus and the year level. Now not all schools require these features to be turned on. This school, for example, has only one campus, so they didn't need a campus selector. They have, however, selected a year level, so we collect that information from parents and then it's reportable back to the school. And if we go into one of the invoices, as I said, we see the top line product here, so that's Surface Pro 7. If we click on that invoice number, we can drill down into it and actually see what was invoiced in total. So when we drill into it, you can see we've got the Surface Pro device that was sold with the Microsoft Surface Pro three year warranty. It was sold with an STM duct shell and school delivery was included. Now you will notice here quantities of one. There's only an amount in that surface. All these, other, all these other items are listed as zero. Now what that means, the school has chosen to put forward to the parents a bundle. CompNow has bundled in the device, the warranty that the school require every family to take up, the protective shell that the school requires every family to take up, and the school delivery. And we've factored all those costs and we've just given the parent one cost. So that's a really good way to structure your, your parent funded portal so that if there are a key things that you need those students to bring to school on day one, put them in a bundle, parents select it, they're not thinking, oh, what else do I need? Give it to them in a bundle, one product to purchase, one price to pay, um, makes it very simple. Now, if we just go back to the main page here, we're gonna drill into the device page. Now you'll notice that the device count is much higher than the invoices. This is because anything that has a serial number on it is reported in the device page. So obviously that's gonna be any kind of a laptop or, or tablet device that has a serial number. But as we see when we go into it, it'll, it'll also include things like external hard drives, um, things like that. Some warranties include a serial number. So anything that, that has a serial number attached to it will be available to view in the devices page. So similar columns along the top, we've got serial number, we've got the stock code. So this is the stock code of uh, the device. So for example, we can see, okay, so that's a common part number. That's obviously the part number for the uh, Microsoft Surface warranty, for example. So stock code, invoice number, again, you can drill down into that and see the full details of everything that was on that invoice, the date it was invoiced, the line description, so what that particular serial number relates to, the student name and the student ID again, and again, the campus and the year level. So with the serial number, 
a case where this might be of use. A student arrives to the IT help desk, he has a problem with his device, he wants to check if that device is in warranty. So someone on the IT help desk can have this, this dashboard open to them, really quickly just punch in that student's serial number into the dashboard, filters out all the results that aren't relevant and it just shows us that serial number. So we can then drill into the invoice and we can see, okay, so that student has a Surface Pro 7. Yes, it does have that Microsoft Surface warranty. So let's go ahead and diagnose that device and then contact CompNow to create a ticket and arrange an exchange in the case of a, of a Microsoft Surface. Or if it's something that can be repaired on site, CompNow then attends on site and, and repairs that device for you. Something else to point out, all this information in these, in these reports is exportable to an Excel spreadsheet. So you can pull all that data down, very simply manipulate it however you want. Um, it's all there for you to use whenever you want. So that is the CompNow Parent Funded Portal Self-Service Reporting Dashboard. Uh, we hope you like it. Thanks very much for joining us today to learn more about CompNow's BYOD programs. We'd love to come and talk to you at your school about the programs you would like to run. Please give us a call. Thank you.